climate change in the voice and choice campaigns presented by GenderLinks. Since 2012, the Static Gender Protocol Alliance has advocated and lobbied for the adoption of addendum in the Static Gender Protocol to address climate change and sustainable development. Then, in 2012, the Alliance collected over 1,027 signatures from the Static countries in favor of the addendum. Fast forward to 2015 with the post-2015 agenda. The realization was that Agenda 2063 and the SDGs provide a strong framework for strengthening responses to gender and climate change. Although SADC has a standalone protocol on environment and a chapter on gender, there is need for cost referencing and for alignments within the two. The current project that is under the SADC Gender Protocol Alliance is a project that works towards advocating for capacity building in gender and climate rights in the 15 SADC countries. The campaigns work towards grassroots implementation of the regional environmental protocol and bringing about gender dimensions of climate change and how they impact in the Southern African region. Why? So since the beginning of the lobbying and campaign, the Southern, Afri Southern African region has experienced several drastic environmental, unsustainable environmental challenges. To name two, in the recent two years, 2020 and 2021, um, Chelane was a tropical storm which brought about strong winds and flooding in Madagascar, Malawi, Mozambique and Zimbabwe. And then in January 2021, Eloise tropical storm affected lives in Botswana, Madagascar, Mozambique, Eswatini and South Africa, of which huge losses were felt by women and girls. The highlights of the work that we've done. The work of the Alliance works with grassroots organizations on the ground within all the 15 countries. And thus in 2020, we completed 13 action plans that are in place for implementation in 2021. The case studies were presented at a Voicing Choice Regional Summit beginning of this year, March 2021, between 15 to 17 March. The backdrop of the work is that women are the most vulnerable and they feel the most impact of unsustainable environmental practices, whether it's climate change, and they also are the most affected by land rights as well as pollution. The outcomes of the progress. So within the case studies, you'll see best practice and the opportunities for knowledge sharing and opportunities for continued exchange and collaboration as the year continues. In the summit, winners who presented their case studies in March 2021, the runner up was Polokwane province in South Africa. Their project worked towards achieving food security through alternative farming and agriculture produce solutions as a response to climate change and challenges within that community. The project was headed by marginalized women and persons of disability. The main objective of the project was to come up with a pest control solution, a strategy that would tackle drought and soil erosion, which affected agricultural produce. And you'll see in the picture, the women headed the project. The winner of the 2021 climate justice category was a Mozambique project from the province of Beria. And the project works towards carbonization of solid waste as an income generating project that was headed by single moms and women in that local community. The project achieved income generation and job creation in response to waste and air pollution. The main outcome of the project is that they produce ecological charcoal for reuse as fuel and this achieves environmental sanitation as well as protection from disease transmission as they collect the solid waste and other waste within the community. You'll see in the pictures collection of the waste which is then used to burn and create the bricks which are then ecological charcoal that is used for fuel and 